Hi Scorpio, welcome to your singles reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Scorpio, we're going to take a look at new love coming into you, somebody new, your next either date, next relationship, your future ex. I mean, who knows what we're going to get here. So this is intended for Scorpios who are single looking for new love. If you do have a connection with somebody, um, whether you're together or not, but you do consider yourself single, I do have a love reading on my channel and I look at a love connection between you and another person. So if you are connected to somebody but not together, you can feel be, um, feel free to watch that. Um, also, you can find the links to your love readings down below in the description box. Your love and general playlist are down there. So feel free to check that out. Also, I consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back, watch past readings, uh, feel free to do that also. So let's see what's going on with Scorpio Singles. This is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. However, if you would like a private reading, all that information is also down below in the description box, as well as the decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff down there. So please feel free to check that out. So Scorpio, what we're going to do here, first of all, I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. What I'm going to do here, uh, Scorpio, is with this deck. I'm going to pull one oracle first from these decks and we're going to get their energy, what kind of energy they're in or they were in in the past, whatever we get here. And then with this deck here, we'll sort of get like their um, soul and spirit kind of energy. You may even get what they do for a career or their passion or their hobbies and that kind of energy. And then we'll get their love energy, how they are when they're in love or when they're in relationships towards love. Then we'll clarify all that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at how you would feel about each other. If there be any blocks or challenges, advice, guidance, possible outcome of the connection. For Scorpio Singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general, collective. So let's get this person's main energy. For Scorpio Singles, Spirit, please. What is this person's main okay, energy? Feeling that one. And if you're new and you feel uh, free to check out my channel, like what you see, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Um, I do a lot of different kind of readings, so there's something for everyone. So like I said, check it out. You like what you see, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, you'll be notified when I upload. Sometimes you get five readings if you happen to get the bonus reading. And uh, if you do, thank you and welcome to the family. All right, Scorpio. Well, that went flying on the floor, so I think that's their spirit just went flying on the floor. So let me go get that. All right. Sorry about that, my crickety cheer. All right, so let's get their love energy. Their love energy for Scorpios, please. Thank you so much, spirit. For someone rising Venus, male or female, general collective, what would be the love energy for Scorpio singles, new love? Okay. Where did that go? There it is. I got this new throw on my table, so when I put the crystals down, I'm like, where did it go? It kind of blends in. All right. Let's see what we have for you, Scorpio singles. We have grounding, nature, presence, practicality, stability. So we have six here. It's a very uh, healing, balancing number. So this person could be somebody who's very, they could be a little on the stubborn side. Uh, you know, usually with this card, somebody, you know, who's very in tune, in touch with nature. They love nature. They're out in nature a lot. They may exercise outside a lot, go hiking, that kind of energy. They, you know, aware of everything around them. They're always in the here and now, in the present moment. Very practical, stable, and grounded. And it's all about stability. But it may be somebody here who's a little stubborn. <laughs> I'm getting. Um, it's like, you know, they believe what they believe in them. Like, that. that's it. Like, you can't change their mind. But because I have all this dark energy here, but then we have, you know, this light energy here with the dove, which would be about peace. So we'll find out more about that when we get into the tarot. But I think they're someone that stands their ground. It's like their belief is their belief. It's very hard to change their mind. 
But, you know, it could be somebody who's very, very stable, practical. You know, could really love being out in nature kind of energy also. We have a healer. You have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. So they could be, they could be a nurse, they could be a doctor, uh, a surgeon, or something like that. Wow. Okay. So they have a healing, they could have a healing presence about them also, even though they may have like this kind of, like I feel like once they're grounded in something and that's their belief, it's like that's it. It's very hard to change their mind. I'm not saying they can never change their mind, but I feel like um, like their belief is their belief. But I'm not getting like a really bad energy. I'm getting, you know, somebody that likes to keep the peace also, but they have their beliefs and opinions. And it's kind of like that's their belief and opinion. But I don't think there's somebody that like fights and argues and like presses that on to other people. You know, it's just like they stand firm in who they are and what they believe in and that's just it. But I feel like they also have a very healing energy about them. And they could also be, you know, a nurse, a doctor, surgeon, or something like that. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's see. So we have, this is their love energy. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So they could be someone who's a little controlling when it comes to love. Um, maybe they have a hard time letting like relationships, like go with the flow and let it happen naturally. You know, maybe they try to really um, like manifest it forward, you know, press it forward when really just need to like relax and go with the flow kind of energy. All right, let's see. Let's get into the tarot for you, Scorpio. I feel like this person is uh, very passionate about what they believe in. Um, also their beliefs, their opinions, but I don't think they really press it. I don't think they really press their opinions and beliefs onto other people. They just stand firm in who they are, what they are, and what they believe in also. But I get a feeling too that they maybe, you know, to keep the peace, they don't really, um, say too much in social settings because they just, you know, like to keep the peace as they do have the peace over there with the, uh, dove. All right, but I feel like they need to speak up. They will, but if they don't have to, they won't. <laughs> All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's clarify this energy for Scorpio, this person. Let's clarify their energy for Scorpio singles. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. All right, so we have the Four of Cups. We have the Empress. Emperor, Empress doesn't matter. Queen of Pentacles, King or Queen. All right, let me get let me get about three more, and then we'll read their energy. So it's funny up here because we have uh, grounding, which is you know kind of like Earth energy, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So they definitely could be an Earth sign. Uh, the Empress though is um, Libra and Taurus. And the Queen of Pentacles could be Capricorn. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Hangman, Pisces. Let's get one more. And we have Strength, which is Leo energy. So, again, with the grounded energy, uh, this is somebody who, again, who stands with the Emperor Empress energy who stands firm in who they are, what they believe in, their beliefs, their opinions. The Empress knows their value, their worth. They're very strong and uh, independent and, you know, they believe in themselves. So definitely they have that energy. We do have an energy there uh, here of four cups being born and complacent and kind of see that energy there. So I feel, what I feel like is there's something missing out of their life. Like they probably don't have a relationship you know, they work, they have friends, and that kind of energy, but their love energy here with the Four of Cups is kind of bored and complacent. I feel like they're very stable, practical, they're making their money. If they're a doctor or a surgeon or something like that, then they're probably well off. You know, they're not too worried about finances. They're very stable energy here with the Queen of Pentacles, but again, with the Five of Cups, it's like sadness and hurt and melancholy, like, you know, I don't have love in my life. Hang man, like feeling like love is just on a pause, on a break. Um, 
here, but we do have strength here, which, you know, I feel like they're strong enough, you know, they have strength here, willpower, determination, you know, they want love, but for some reason, it's like they just doesn't come to them, <laughs> does, and I think this is about taming the beast from within, so, and, you know, in the hangman is about gaining new perspectives. So maybe, you know, they come to realize maybe I've been a little too controlling when it's come to love. I don't mean like in a domineering way. Maybe, you know, they just have an energy of like not being able to go with the flow and just let it happen naturally and maybe scared other people away. So, you know, the hangman, maybe they did some, you know, they pause and reflected. Maybe they come to realize, okay, I need to tame the beast from within let just things happen naturally. Otherwise, I'm constantly going to be in this state of sadness, hurt, and loneliness and feeling born in melancholy. Again, I think their work, career, finances is great. But when it comes to their love life, it's like there's nothing there. And they're very sad about that. So I think they did like a lot of reflection on their love relationships and realized I need to tame myself from within when it comes to love and not be so controlling over love situations and let them unfold naturally instead of trying to push them, rush them along kind of energy. All right, so let's see here. Let's get, let's get, they could even own their own uh, practice, medical practice of some kind, being in that Emperor Empress energy. All right, so let's see here. I mean, it could even be um, like a plastic surgeon or something like that. But it could be for, like, um, people in need, people who need uh, not just cosmetic, but, you know, people in need who really need these surgeries also. All right, so let's see how you will feel about them. So got the 201, so kind of being at a crossroads about them. And we have the Page of Swords. Then we have the Four of Wands. This is my Twin Flame card. <laughs> wow. So, I mean, you're going to feel like they're your Twin Flame. But, you know, the Four, four of Wands are a very stable kind of uh, connection. Sometimes it talks about marriage or commitment. Page of Swords can be about open, honest, truthful communication or spying or doing research online. So I think before you commit to this person, you know, there's going to be a need here for a lot of open, honest communication. You may look them up a little bit online, you know, just to see what they're all about first. Do like a little research and then two of wands. So you're going to kind of be at a crossroads about this person. You know, you may, I don't know, maybe you won't find anything online. I don't know. Or maybe you might find something and be like, gee, I don't know. And feel like you're at this crossroads, like, I don't know what to do about this person. But we do have an opportunity here in the, you know, down the road here for commitment, maybe even marriage, or this could be a twin flame. So, and there can be ceremony celebrations, you know, stability in the home life, moving in together. All right, so a lot of passion, passion and communication. I didn't see any love there, but so it could be a, po a passionate connection. So let's see how they will feel about you, Scorpio. So we've got the Knight of Wands. There's that passionate energy. There's that go-getter, fiery, passionate energy going after what they want. Nine of Pentacles. So there's somebody very stable here. Let me get one more. Ace of Swords. Wow. So open, honest communication here, a brand new beginning, epiphany, aha moment. I'm almost getting a sense of this person, like they went from someone who is with one person and they're very like um, controlling of the situation. And I don't mean in a bad way, but like uh, trying to really press it along, like needing to know, okay, we together, we committed, let's commit right away, you know, that kind of energy. And it pushed people away. And now I'm getting, because the Knight of Wands can be a player, this would be uh, Sagittarius. And the Nine of Pentacles is a very stable, independent energy. And then the Ace of Swords is like mental clarity and epiphany, aha moment. So I feel like this person went from being very 
controlling in a relationship of, all right, we're together, we're committed, we're a couple, let's move in, like, like very, very quickly to, oh, you know what, maybe I'm just going to take my time here, be single and independent, and just kind of be, you know, a bachelor in, you know, be a little more of a player energy. It may be, it may reverse now, the roles may be reversed, where they just want to be more of a bachelor and stay single and date and see other people, and you may be like, <laughs> now... Like how they are, like, okay, I want commitment, I want to move in, I want, you know, very quickly. And you see them, like, not in that energy. And I feel like this person was always in that energy, and now they're more in a single, independent, bachelor. Um, I'm just going to date around and just kind of go with the flow, and now they meet you, and you're more like how they were before. <laughs> it's like role reversal, and that can be like... You know, that twin flame energy, like runner, chaser, uh, switching the energies back and forth. So I think they're going to leave you at a crossroads. Because you are going to have, you could have their energy and now they're in the energy of just, okay, I'm just going to, you know, go with the flow and uh, date around and stay single, independent, be a bachelor, a bachelorette or whatever here. And uh, I've had my moment of truth that I just can't be that energy of wanting to commit, like, on the second date, you know. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. And, you know, this could be the honest communication of them telling you that and then you telling them, well, um, I want something serious. So it's like almost like a clashing here, I feel, a little bit. All right. So let's see what the challenges and blockage. So we got the Four of Swords... Nine of Wands is that defensive energy. So we got Sagittarius here with the Knight of Wands. We got Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, uh, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus, the Moon. Yeah, Pisces energy, Cancer, all Pisces. Judgment, Scorpio energy. Yep. Eight of Wands, so travel, action. Communication, Cupid's Arrows, and now the King of Swords, Gemini Energy. So, I think there's going to be illusions here, not seeing the path clearly, feeling like there's secrets, defensive energy, kind of retreating. So there's definitely going to be blocks and challenges here of feeling like someone's keeping secrets, not seeing the path clearly. Someone may have stronger feelings than the other. Uh, somebody may be hiding that, um, needing to listen to, you know, intuition, being defensive on guard, needing to make a decision, judgment call on this situation, and then communicating that, taking action and travel. And then the King of Swords energy, Gemini energy here is all about that open, honest, truthful communication. So a lot of blocks of challenges here for honest communication Taking action in the right direction. Making a judgment call on this. Do we want this? Do we not want this? This judgment angel usually brings in the soulmates together. It's about forgiveness. Uh, resurrection, coming back together. Judgment call, decision. But feeling like there's secrets, illusions. Again, one could have deeper feelings than the other. So one's defensive, on guard. The other one's not so much. Wow. Wow. I think it's going to be a clash of, like, two worlds here, honestly. Wow. But I do see a lot of passion between the two of you. Wands, 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 wands. Wands. So I think there'll be a lot of fiery, like, a fiery, passionate connection. Not many cups here. Uh, only cups we had was up in their energy. So I'm getting like they're an energy of like, okay, maybe if I'm more just a bachelor, kind of like a player, maybe then I'll find true love. <laughs> and now we have like the clashing of two worlds here. So I don't feel comfortable taking that. What could be the uh, final outcome in this connection for Scorpio? Six of Pentacles. So we have balance here. Or an imbalance because Six of Pentacles to me is always representative of balance. But you see the scales aren't balanced here in this card. And this that fiery passion again. 
There's that fire, fiery passion in the beginning. Stress, fear, worry, anxiety. High Priestess, Pisces. So needing to listen to intuition. Again, with the secrets, stress, fear, worry, anxiety. Lack of balance here. Trying to make, trying to make things balanced. But a lot of passion. I just feel like it's going to be a lot of passion. Indecisive energy here with the Two of Swords. Nine of Cups, though, uh, I just had that come out, is, you know, wish dreams coming true, happiness, joy, and fulfillment. So there can be a sense of love, happiness, joy, and fulfillment. But I think because this person, had they not changed, this could have really worked out. But since they changed and now they're really in this motto, it's like they grounded themselves in this new energy that they're in. And now it's kind of ruining this connection because I feel like you are the person that would have matched their energy previously of, you know, if it moved quickly, I think you would have been okay with that. If that makes sense for some of you. I don't mean like moving in the next day, but now I feel like they're more in this, okay, just passion energy, which now really messed up their love life. <laughs> really? Wow. So there's a lot here. I feel like the clashing of two worlds. So let's see what else here. Yeah. There's an opportunity here to have this divinely guided brand new beginning. Stable, grounded, lifetime partner. But there's mental blockages. A lot of blockages in the way. In this connection. Mental blockage. Way of thinking. So we have the Emperor. Aries energy here. So yeah, I feel like this is someone in with the control issues here. I think now they they've changed so much that they, they can't go back now. Five of Swords, yeah, being in that energy of I'm just gonna do what I want now. Three of Wands, so you know I think you're gonna be waiting for them, waiting and waiting for them, and I feel like now they've just changed so much that they really can't go back. Queen of Swords, so we do have a matching couple here, King and Queen of Swords. And with the Nine of Cups. So, I mean, this does have the opportunity to be a soulmate connection. But I think they really changed their ways so much that I, I don't think they're going to change again. But Queen of Swords here. So that could be um, Libra. So you may take that sword and cut them out. Because they may just come in and out, in and out. Just for the passion. Yeah, Ten of Swords, and I had said that. So I feel like this is just going to end, you know, tired of the in and out energy and not, you know, them not committing kind of energy. Wow. So I, in the past, they were sad and hurt over, you know, ruining all their past relationships. And now they have somebody that could be their perfect soulmate. And they go and change their ways, which ruins this person that comes into them that could be a really good soulmate for them. And now it's ruined, and I think you're going to cut their energy out here, Pisces. Yep. Wow. Okay. Well, sorry I didn't have a better reading for you, Pisces, so that's kind of what I see. Uh, <laughs> so maybe this is just a forewarning. <laughs> okay. Uh, best of luck to you, Pisces. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And why do I keep calling you Pisces? Scorpio. I'm sorry. If I've said Pisces through this reading, I'm sorry. Scorpio. I think because we have Pisces on the table here. This is for Scorpio. Sorry about that. All right, Scorpio. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.